Hello everybody. Today I'm going to finish something I started a couple weeks ago. If you remember, I restored a Stanley number 33 plane, the second largest plane Stanley ever made, 28 inches long. So let's see how we're going to test it. Ooh, look at that. Normally after I do a restoration, I end the video by test driving the plane. I came up with the idea that I would make myself a unique Stanley number 33 and a half joiner. That combined with my number 33 plane and there she is resting comfortably inside the top of my my homemade joiner is what we're going to use to test drive this old plane. I think it looks pretty cool. The key is, is what will it do? That's what we're about to find out. I made a wooden fence it squares your board up to 90 degrees or 45. It will do uh, right or left handed planing and it's got four holes on each end to adjust it for the position that you want it in. The, uh, the end besides looking fancy is going to be used to clamp your joiner to the bench. So pretty straightforward, simple, a lot like a regular joiner. So with my joiner properly secured to the bench, I selected a 13 inch by 31 inch piece of poplar that's rough cut on the edge. What better could you choose than to try to test out this little joiner? Using my number 31 and a half is straightforward. Put the piece of wood on, square it up with the fence, and slide it over the iron. Let's see how it works. That's not how it works. Let's try this. I can feel it shaving. And the evidence is underneath the plane. Of course I picked what might be one of the hardest things to do. And that's playing this giant board on here. But what better way to prove it? There's the shavings that are rolling out. Let's take a look at it. So I've got shavings that started to spill out on the floor and the shavings collected in my little clean out which all I got to do is reach in there and knock them out. And looking at the board, you can see she's looking pretty good. I'd say that's a definite pass. Let's try something smaller. Let's try a one and five eighths inch wide piece of poplar. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Let's move the camera so you can see what's happening here. Pretty much effortless pushing this across here, and you can see what's happening. jealous by now. Yeah, I know most of you are only jealous of my wood wig. But look what this joiner will do. I guess we should take a closer look at it now that it's proven itself. First step in breaking this thing down, remove the wing nuts on both ends. Knock the bolts out.
with the wing nuts removed, you can change the uh, fence. You can set it up for doing 45s, and you can switch it around for for doing uh, left-handed. So if a left-handed person wanted to use it, put the fence over here like this. To remove the plane, I have to flip it over. drop it out and that's it. Both sides of my number 33 and a half are identical but it only works with this number 33 plane. You can make your own with any wood based plane like this. It doesn't have to be a long one. The, the length would come from how long you make your box that you put it in and the longer the box the straighter the edge of your board will be on the long boards. So just a brainchild, no plan, just started banging it together. To put it back together, it only goes one way. Take the number 33, drop it in, and then set up the fence for right or left handed, whichever way you want it. This is a right handed setup right here. I can set it up for a 45. Just going to line up my my bolts and lock it in. Now with it set up at a 45 I can use it to nick the corners off of that piece of poplar that I just trued up. It did a nice job. This number 33 and a half was definitely a pretty neat project to do. But then everybody knows there is no such thing as a 33 and a half except for this one. I enjoy making it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This thing will be going for sale during the month of August if you're interested. Or just make your own. Time for supper. Bye.